Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the first video of Exchange Hybrid Deployment Series. In this particular video, I will be discussing what is Exchange Hybrid Deployment, what are the features provided by Exchange Hybrid Deployment, what are the types of Exchange Hybrid Deployments, and what features are available and are not available with each type of Exchange Hybrid Deployment model. Exchange Hybrid Deployment provides a seamless look and feel of a single exchange organization between on-premise exchange and exchange online. Hybrid Deployment lets two different organizations to work as a single organization. Let's assume we have on-premise organization that has on-premise Active Directory and they have on-premise exchange server. They are hosting few mailboxes within the on-premise exchange server. So they have their own environment where users are using on-premise applications. But let's assume this organization wants to use Office 365 services. Or let's say this organization doesn't want to maintain their on-premise servers. So they want to move to Office 365 completely and they want to decommission their on-premise. There are multiple types of exchange mailbox migration methods available. For example, staged migration, cutover migration and hybrid migration. We can use one of these migration types to move on premise mailboxes to exchange online. You can perform cutover or staged migration if you want to move completely to Office 365. That means post migration of the mailboxes, you will be decommissioning your on premise servers. But if you want to use on premise and exchange online both, or you want to host some of the mailboxes in on premise exchange and some of the mailboxes in exchange online, in that scenario, you can configure exchange hybrid. Exchange hybrid deployment lets an organization to leverage the features of both on-premise and Exchange Online. Now let's discuss what benefits or features an Exchange Hybrid Deployment provides. On-premise users and Office 365 users can use the same domain namespace for their email addresses. For example, if an on-premise organization is using office365concepts.com domain, they will verify and add the same domain in Office 365. This is one of the prerequisites of Exchange Hybrid Deployment. So in this example, on-premise users, migrated users and cloud hosted users will use at Office 365 concepts.com SMTP domain for their email addresses. Office 365 users and migrated users will be part of a single global address list. That means cloud hosted users and migrated users will be able to see each other in global address list. This is also called unified global address list. Exchange hybrid deployment enables free busy and calendar sharing between on premise and exchange online. On-premise users and cloud hosted users can see each other's availability and they can share calendars with each other. The next benefit provided by Exchange Hybrid Deployment is centralized mail flow. By enabling centralized mail flow, we can control the inbound and outbound emails and all external emails will be routed to the MX record and through the outbound connector, emails will be delivered to the on-premise and basis on the recipient location, emails will be delivered to their mailboxes. I will be discussing centralized and decentralized mail flow in one of the next sessions in detail. In hybrid deployment, emails sent between on-premise and exchange online organization are sent over TLS. Any email that is sent between on-premise and Exchange Online is considered as internal email and the SEL value for these emails will be stamped as minus one. In hybrid deployment, on-premise and Exchange Online users use the same URL to connect to their mailboxes over the Internet. 
you can move mailboxes from on premise exchange to exchange online and you can off board mailboxes from exchange online to on premise. Hybrid deployment enables centralized mailbox management in on premise exchange admin center. An administrator can manage on premise mailboxes and migrated mailboxes from on premise exchange admin center. In hybrid deployment, on premise users can take benefit of online archiving. Administrators can enable online archiving for the mailboxes that exist in on premise. Organization relationships configured for both organizations enable cross premises message tracking, mail tips, and message search. And on premise users can use Microsoft Teams in hybrid deployment. But to achieve this, an administrator will have to meet certain prerequisites. Now let's understand the different types of exchange hybrid deployment options that can be used to set up hybrid between on premise and exchange online. Hybrid configuration wizard currently supports classic topology and modern topology. Classic topology includes minimal, express and full and modern topology includes minimal and full. You can select a topology while running hybrid configuration wizard. So based on your selection, hybrid configuration wizard will configure the features. Hybrid deployment features availability depends on the type of deployment topology that is selected while running hybrid configuration wizard. Not all type of topologies include all features. Federation trust and organization relationship is configured only when classic full or modern full topology is selected. Send and receive connectors in on premise are configured if classic full or modern full topology is selected. OAuth is configured only in classic full or modern full hybrid deployment and in case you have on premise exchange server 2013, 2016 or 2019 with latest CU updates. Cross premises mailbox search is supported only in classic full hybrid deployment. Cross premises mail tips are enabled only in classic full and modern full hybrid deployment. Email address policy is enabled and domain is added in accepted domains in all types of hybrid deployments. In every type of hybrid deployment, you need to configure external DNS record for auto discover and you need a public certificate. So based on the type of hybrid deployment selected, hybrid configuration wizard will configure the features. Now the question arises, what type of hybrid deployment you should choose, classic or modern? In classic hybrid deployment, exchange online and on-premise exchange connect to each other during mailbox migration or for any type of communication. But in case of modern hybrid deployment, modern hybrid installs hybrid agent that handles the communication between on-premise and exchange online organization. Hybrid agent eliminates the requirement for inbound HTTPS connections to the on-premise exchange organization. You can choose classic hybrid deployment if you want to configure a permanent hybrid environment. Modern hybrid deployment is the option when you want to migrate mailboxes to exchange online and you do not want on premise. You can choose classic hybrid deployment if you have purchased a third party certificate for SMTP, auto discover and for other services. If you do not have a third party certificate, you can choose modern hybrid deployment. Hybrid agent doesn't handle SMTP mail flow, so you still need a public certificate for mail flow between on premise and exchange online. Classic hybrid deployment includes all features of hybrid deployment, whereas modern hybrid deployment includes only free busy and mailbox migration. 
mail flow multi mailbox search or cross premises message tracking is not included within modern hybrid deployment so now you can choose what type of hybrid deployment you want to configure for your organization in the next video i will be discussing what is hybrid configuration wizard i will be discussing what happens when you run hybrid configuration wizard what changes are done and what exactly happens in the back end when you run hybrid configuration wizard or hcw so if you have learned something new from this particular video please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel thank you guys thank you for your time take care